Okay, I have tried this multiple times, and for whatever reason, it's being a massive dick, and I don't appreciate it. Anyway, that's not the point. So, this is an easy example of how to add sprites to Fighter Factory. There's a bunch of particulars. I'll leave a, um, a link in the description of the actual Fred discussing stuff like sprite standards and the, the how SFFs work and indexing and all that jazz. Right, so just look at the description if you want like an in-depth look at any one aspect of this. So for this, I'm just gonna open paint because sophisticated, I know. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna save it as whatever the hell. Let's save it as jury zero zero. I don't think. Ew, we did. Anyway, so let's see if we do that. So now that image has no transparency in it whatsoever, right? So we press Control P or up to the left. There's the advanced palette editor, right? So we'll go into here. It's like Jury Idle 00. Color picker. Pick transparent background. Or at least the color we want to be transparent, which in this case is just blue. So we'll slide it in along here. And then by pressing this, this inserts the current palette into images. Don't worry if it looks weird. You don't have to worry about it. But just to put your mind at ease, uh, basically, what, what Fighter Factory and image programs do when you do this, right, is the image will basically be remade, right, and it'll use the colors that are present in the color table, including, and not limited to, the transparent one, right? So since the transparency color is going to be blue, the blue color just won't show up. Like, that's the color that will just, you know, that will be gone. And the rest of the sprite will try to load colors like this or similar. That's why if you have a palette with a bunch of colors, you'll see like there's like purples and shit in weird places because that's the closest equivalent. Anyway, for this example, we have all the colors we need. So jury idle zero zero, import it into that. Control A to add a sprite, find it, crop before axis. So basically it'll take any bit that's just like transparent or not like the, 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 the you know, the actual pixels and it'll crunch the image down. We'll just say it too. Uh, when it comes to this, let's specify. Yeah. All right, so we'll just put it here, all right? This group is two. It'll be put here after the uh, image has been cropped. Boom. We'll just take that right quick. Boom, all right? So the frame is actually in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So the one thing we have to keep in mind is if you keep it as zero, zero or one anything, basically you're saying it's either like always the default or the player, which we don't want either or. We'll just say two. Save the SFF. Okay. So basically we're basically, we're, we're just saying, look, this isn't the player right and it's not the pure default so just have it use a different palette that isn't that right go to animations it's easy enough to do this but just to make sure uh for display purposes we'll show how this works so zero is idle standing idle in particular so this is when you're not touching anything and you have control right you're just doing that normally it's zero but i like to give the idle of a character that i'm using as, as a display just an absurd number it doesn't use. And then, make a new anim, and load up the sprite we want. So index uh, zero, group two. All right, let's load up Mugen. If the audio is fucked up, I sincerely apologize. My recorder is being a dipshit, and I will fix it. But this is the third time I'm doing it, so I'm not doing this again. I just, I have to hope that it doesn't sound like shit. Just give him a minute. There we go. Huh? Fight! So yeah, that's how you import sprites into an SFF. Uh, I'll put a little addendum sort of thing to show you how to make a, uh, you know, a, uh, a sorted palette like this. It's actually fairly simple, but it'll be a small additional thing. So if you're interested in that, I'll just put it there. But if you're not, all the best, good luck, and have a good day.